Welcome back to the Green Swindle. Now, from coast to coast, people and businesses are going green. But is this movement actually helping the environment or just lining the pockets of big corporations? The Green Revolution is the solution to the financial crisis, the national security crisis, the debt crisis, and the climate crisis. They're all connected. Ever since the 2006 debut of Al Gore's movie, An Inconvenient Truth, the business of global warming has been booming, pushing its political agenda on the American people and turning huge profits. Paper plastic. Plastic. Everywhere we look, Americans are bombarded with images and products pushing the green movement and the green lifestyle. You have the media wanting to sell newspapers. Hey, what's going to be the best headline here? The truth? Climate continues changeable, not very exciting. Or the lie, world to end shock, pictures, pages 2 to 14. You have the scientists in search of grants. You have the politicians in search of an issue. If you look at the grants some of these scientists are getting, they are becoming multimillionaires at the expense of the taxpayer. Yet so far, it's working. More and more companies have decided that, that they can get rich uh, off of consumers by producing and promoting products that they claim are green. The green products market in the U.S. was $209 billion in 2005. One year later, an inconvenient truth hit the screen and the market exploded. Projections say consumers will spend $420 billion on green products in 2010 and $845 billion by 2015. Al Gore's movie really jump-started the consumer awareness that somehow uh, global warming, you know, was going to cause the end of the earth as we know it in, in, in less than, you know, 10 years. And it didn't just jumpstart spending at the supermarket and the mall. Since 2005, uh, venture capital investment in the green field has essentially doubled and then doubled again. It went from basically zero to over five to six billion dollars a year in new startup companies. This entire business has really just boomed. So what is all this money being spent on? Well, it's being spread across the board from environmentally friendly cars to energy efficient light bulbs to recycled toilet paper. But there is growing concern about these products and whether they really deliver on their, quote, green claims. A lot of the, the claims for green products are, are, are misleading. They don't make us uh, healthier, they don't improve the environment, and they certainly don't make us happier. What they do is they raise prices for typical American consumers. So how do the companies that, quote, go green pull in billions? By recruiting the big guns to sell their environmental doom and gloom story, Hollywood. I'm doing what I can um, because it is an issue that I, I think is a global one in every sense of the word. Those env environmental disasters that we've been confronting you know, have, have been caused by us. You can't go to the movies, turn on the TV, or pick up a magazine without seeing images of the, quote, go green movement. So what are you to do after being made to feel so guilty about your, quote, carbon footprint? Spend more money, of course, on buying carbon offsets. Carbon offset is the idea that if your activity, say your uh, electric use and your driving use, it produces so much carbon dioxide, that you can offset that by buying something that will reduce an equivalent amount. For example, you can pay to participate in a project where they're planting a lot of trees. You are counteracting your, uh, your own carbon dioxide emissions. Many airlines now offer the option to purchase these offsets right on their websites as part of your ticket purchase. And now the offsets themselves are their own million dollar industry. But do they really help the environment? When you buy these, these carbon credits, what you're really doing is paying to plant a tree in either China or in uh, the Amazon. That's usually where most of these carbon credits come from. It's a total scam. The global warming alarmists tell us we have to reduce our emissions immediately, whereas many of these offsets don't take effect for uh, several decades. Yet as Al Gore brings vision of Armageddon to our doorstep, he continues to travel in gas-guzzling private jets and SUVs, all under the guise that his carbon offsets will even things out. You see people like Al Gore, former vice president, claiming that 
uh, all of his activities are fully offset, that they, they buy carbon offsets to counteract all of the emissions that he produces from flying around in his private jet plane. These carbon offsets are meant to make uh, people feel uh, less guilty about their high-flying lifestyles. Although Hollywood's influence is massive, a more powerful force has even more say over what you buy and how you live. The threat from climate change is serious, it is urgent, and it is growing. The Green Revolution has taken hold in Democrat-controlled Washington. And it's no wonder in the 2008 election cycle, environmental groups gave Democrats nearly all of their $2.8 million in donations. We will create a green revolution with investments in biofuels, wind, solar, geothermal. There is a very close relationship between uh, the Democratic Party and the uh, environmental pressure groups. As long as the money keeps flowing in, Democrats will keep pushing green as the way to solve the world's problems. The only reason many of these green uh, products and these green industries have started is because of the government decided this is what we should do rather than the free market. And we know that when the government decides versus a free market, it's going to be wasteful, it's going to be probably illogically put together, and guess what? Most of these projects aren't. But with the fear of doomsday scenarios pushed by the Al Gores of the world, Americans continue to sink their money one green thing after another with not much to show for it other than the swelling bank accounts of those selling the products. At the end of the day, uh, if we if we adopt the green economy that President Obama keeps talking about, we're going to be poorer and uh, we're not going to have a better environment.